So, Arsenal won. Treble winners, Man City won. They are in the mud, fully teabagged by teabag. Uh, we've done them on pens 4-1. Aaron Ramsdale, who knew he could save penalties? Uh, make sure you are subbing to the channel. Sub to the second channel, Lee Reacts. And make sure, come on, my partner in crime right now, Jez, make sure you sub to Arsenal History and more. If you ain't hit 4K already, Jez, you will hopefully by the end of this and if you don't, then you're definitely doing it on the podcast tomorrow with Kenny. Very close. Very close. Yourself. Very close. Uh, 5 p.m. tomorrow, we're doing the podcast, people. We're fully back. The season is, a, is upon us. And the curtain raiser was nerve-wracking, a bit erratic, um, nail-biting. One minute we're in, then we're out, and then we win on pens. Uh, give us your little breakdown for anyone who ain't watched the fan cams, Jez. Well, it wasn't a great display from either teams, let's be honest, um, be fair. But I'm just going to say this, Lee. I'm not, I don't want to do a massive breakdown of what happened. At the end of the day, Arsenal went 1-0 down. We got back with a Trossard deflection goal. And then we went out and we showed the intensity in the penalty shootout of what Arsenal really is about this season. And I have to say, fair play to the team because um, how can I put this? Somewhere, Lee, in that player, Havertz, there is a player. He's, he's, he, he is not a number nine. He's not. Um, where we will play him, that will be will come to see and that will come to fruition. It was a great win because let's 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 you know we have to be honest. Beating Man City that's a great result. Let's be fair. Um I know it's on, I know it's on penalties. I know that doesn't matter. Jez it but breaks it, the voodoo. Yeah how when was the last time we beat Man City? When we beat him in the semi with Arteta in the cup that he yeah, won. Yeah, yeah? Four FA Cups ago. Yeah, we've been pammed every time since. Mm. Yeah. So, listen, a, a lot of people get us mixed up the wrong way. And we were just speaking about this backstage. Yeah, listen, we hope Arteta comes good. We rate yeah. Arteta for coming out and saying he wanted to quit. Yeah. yeah. And he was in a dark space and didn't know whether he was the guy. We rate that. And yeah, we yeah. rate that Absolutely. because it's self accountability. You know? But, He's now put a whole load of pressure on himself. The club have backed him with stupid amounts of money. Mm. Now it's time to deliver. And listen, today, albeit it's a friendly game, it's a community game, a charity game, whatever you want to call it, it doesn't matter. We beat Man City. Mm. Yeah? We beat Man City. And there were some good performers out there today. There were some poor ones. Mm. And that's why we're going to get into player ratings. But make sure you yeah. are subbing to Arsenal history and more people. Uh, let's go with the goalkeeper because mm. I was very um, critical of this goalkeeper towards the end of the season. Um, all the way through pre-season from... I didn't watch every pre-season game, but I did see the highlights. And I was like, yo, he's on fraud watch. Yeah, and, and the manager believes that as well. Hence why he's trying to buy a better goalkeeper. Yeah. Right? But today, I know we're going to come to Tierney and Gabriel Magalhaes in a minute. It weren't top bins, Jez. It was a great strike. Listen, fantastic. The guy will never score a better goal. And to do it at Wembley, yeah, to put his team 1 0 up, yeah, as a young English graduate of Man City, he must be living the dream right now, yeah. Right, but yeah. it wasn't top bins, yeah. Do you blame him for that? And what would you rate him, Ramsdale, overall? I think I have to put it this way. I, I think. He was a little bit out of position. Um, it, it was the classic sort of, how can I put it? The classic, um, I'm doing this for TV. That's not true. He, he gave it his best, man. But um, Ramsdale is not quite the player he was right now when he came to Arsenal. I'll give him a six. And I'm, I'll tell you what I'm hoping if we get Raya, that's going to give him a kick up the arse and think, oh, 
I need to I need to up my game. But I'll give him a six. I I agree. Yeah, and let's be real. He saved two penalties in two penalty shootouts. That yeah. don't happen ever. He's never saved a pen. Uh, let's go to somebody that's probably gone under the radar today. Yeah, because there were some good performers and some iffy ones. But somebody who we both rated very highly last season and until the capitulation, we had as the best right back in the league. Um, laid one on a plate for um, Kai Havertz. But Ben White... Like we haven't seen a great deal of him in preseason, no. but today I thought kind of under the radar, did his job, didn't really see him make mistakes, got forward a little bit. We know he can cross the ball. What did you make of him? I thought actually, Lee, he was quality. Um, I like players, to be honest, that we don't notice in any bad or way or form. He he did his job. Um, he got for, I mean, when he got forward that one point when he did that little switch play with um Saka, I mm. thought, yeah, I mean, I will put myself out there, people. When we first signed him, I thought, what the hell are we doing? And he's proved me wrong. Fair play to the man. Um, I'll give him a seven, I thought he's decent. Yep, uh, let's go to the opposite side. We're both very, uh, very fond of Kieran Tierney. Yeah. Uh, but Timber. this young man that we have signed for about 30 odd million quid, mm. who played as Ajax centre back last season, has been in pre season at right back and today started at left back. And he was, I'm not going to swear, but he was awesome, man. Like, <laughs> unbelievably technical level 100 blocking throwing his body that's all we want to see somebody wears the shirt yeah and throws their body on the line for the shirt and gives a hundred what did you make of timber today jury and timber um i knew nothing about him i won't lie i i i, I don't watch you don't watch um, ix jess no nope, i don't <laughs> um i i'm i'm one of these people that i only watch arsenal and that's it. So I'm ignorant, but class, absolute class, man. Um, man of the match for me, eight. Agreed. Uh, let's go William Saliba. Didn't really see him a great deal today. Um, but what did you make of him? William Saliba. He, uh, um, <laughs> what can we say about William Saliba? Um, he's solid. Um he doesn't have to be like somebody standing out. He does his job. I'll tell you what he reminds me of to a point, and people are going to like have a go at me about this, is he, he reminds me very much of, in ways, he reminds me of a Tony Adams in the fact he's big, he's strong, he, he, he doesn't get knocked about. Um, mm. I'll give him a seventh today. Uh, Gabriel Magalhaes, uh, like I said to you about um, Ramsdale, mm. not quite top bins. Gabriel Magalhaes was doing the splits. Um, we're going to come to Tierney in a minute. But again, I didn't really notice him a great deal because between him and Saliba, we didn't see Haaland at all, really, did we? No, we didn't. And that is what the one thing I said... On another, another show earlier tonight is the fact is they Saliba and Gabriel kept Haaland quiet. Um, and I, I had people saying to me, oh, well, he's not fully match fit. Well, I don't care. Because at the end of the day, they kept him quiet. Yeah. Haaland today did nothing. And Gabriel Magalouche, well done to you, fella. You got a seven from me. Uh, let's go into midfield. Uh, Thomas Party. Oh, my legend. Nearly. Take that again. Um, that guy <laughs> commanded. Commanded. I'm oh, sorry, I shouldn't have said that. I'm sorry. Um, he, he he commanded that midfield. He took that midfield totally on him and he pocketed several players. Fair play to him. Why do people want to sell him? I don't get it, man. 
seriously um absolute class seven uh let's go to our new signing Declan Rice he made a great headed clearance in the first half that I actually thought was in from the first angle but when you actually look back at the reverse angle the way he flicked it away uh yes he gave the ball away a few times yes he's trying to adapt to the team it's different he's getting micromanaged off the sidelines he's never had well he's never played for a club this big but he's never had a manager that's more intense he's had Bilic he's had Pellegrini I think um he's had Moyes who I say Big Sam like he's had a lot of managers but now he's realized and and I think he does get it as well yeah how big Arsenal are and we all hope he's going to be the guy that we think he is Mm. but sometimes maybe good sometimes maybe shit for me today I personally it's just my opinion yeah I thought he was I thought he was decent but you can see that he's still not quite in tune with the players around him yeah yeah but what, what did you make of him yeah um look look when we, when we signed him I was a little bit indifferent I won't lie um but what I saw of him in pre-season and today there, there, there is an absolute class player there and I, I thought he was decent today yeah I agree with what you're saying Lee um to a point he needs to settle in it's a new it's a new experience for him um no disrespect to West Ham United he's now playing a higher level of quality team with a higher intensity with um a totally different manager a manager that wants uh in you know Mika Arteta wants intensity yeah. and 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 Declan Rice will settle into that without a question of a doubt this this guy is absolute he's a class player no question mm. and he will get there it might take I don't know two or three games but we've got a class player there what I saw from him today was I thought mm, this guy's decent so I'm, I'm overly happy 105 million pound player um yeah I'm happy about it man seriously I think as the season goes on Lee it will be uh we'll we'll, we'll see something special out of him mm. what's your rating uh I, 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 yeah I gave him I gave him a seven I, th- I think we'll see the best out of him come new year yeah January yeah. February onwards uh let's go Martin Odegaard um club captain um I'll be real I didn't even know he was on the pitch until he dropped a shoulder and I can't remember who it was I think it was yeah. Bernardo Silva yeah played it into Havertz he scored a great penalty yeah he was getting the fans up and all of that which is great yeah all the PR and all that but I didn't know he was on the pitch if I'm being completely honest what did five. you make of him yeah five man um I I this is an annoying thing for me Udegaard Great penalty, fantastic. Mm. Great buzzing the fans up, fantastic. But I'm sorry, mate, you've actually got to show it on the pitch. Five. Uh, let's go to Gabriel Martinelli, a player that we both rate. Uh, didn't really see him today, did we? Anonymous. No. no. Sorry, Martinelli. Um, you were so in and out today. And hate to say this, um, you had your chances for, sorry, no, I agree. I thought he was shocking. Uh, somebody who was equally as shocking, Bukayo Saka. Mm. Bukayo Saka. Um, I, I I won't lie, Lee. I I'm glad he had a shit game. I'll tell you for why, because he didn't get involved too much, because maybe um, not Forest next Saturday. Oh, they're in they're in trouble. <laughs> he may be in trouble. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad that he didn't actually extend himself too much because mm. um I know he wasn't thinking about that. Of course he wasn't, but uh yeah, no, I'm sorry, mate, for not yeah. 
Uh, let's go with uh, Kai Havertz. Missed a couple of absolute oh, chances, uh, especially the second one. Yeah, it's like, just slap it with your right foot, mate. Yeah, any competent striker that's full of confidence and full of beans bangs that. Um, he's got big boots to fill. He's got big pressure to fill. The manager has put his faith in him. We've seen him in pre-season play at false nine. We've seen him play in number eight. Yeah. Um, we've seen a three-year sample size of him. Jez, I know I know you think there's a player in there. We were speaking backstage about it. I think he's crap. Yeah, and that's just my opinion. Hopefully, he proves me wrong. Today, what did you make of him? I, I prefer not to speak. It, it's your player ratings, mate. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, he, he he had his chance. He was poor. I'll, I'll give I'll give him a four. I tell you, I, 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 the thing is, Lee, there is a player in there. It's I, he's he's not a striker. Um, I, look, look, I've spoken to a lot of my friends that are Chelsea fans, and they all agree with me that if Arteta can find the right position for him in midfield, he's not a striker. He will come out. I think the problem is, Lee, that he's got so much pressure on him, mm. his failure at Chelsea. Um, he's now coming to the Arsenal. Big price tag, big wages. He, yeah, yeah. Massive mm. money and... Um, He's now got to prove himself. And I think it's down to Arteta, as we chat, chatted back, back door, um, Arteta's got to find, a, find a, play, a place for him. My worry is, Lee, Arteta's comment was, I don't know where to play, where play him. Yep. That is an issue to me. Um, I, I'll, I'll tell you where I'd play him, Lee. I'll tell you number what. ten. Yep, yeah, number ten. Number ten. Switch between him and Odegaard. Absolutely, absolutely. Mm. Absolutely. He's, he's not, not a striker. He's not clinical enough. No, he's not. He proves it today. Yeah, he's, he's not a right winger. He's not a CM. He's not physical enough. Yeah, no. don't know defensive work. He's not Xhaka, for example. Yeah, you could play him with two up front. You could go with him. And then a nippy striker up front. Remember Emil Heskey, Michael Owen, for example. Yeah, he's the one that wins the flick-ons. Now you've got a nippy striker, Eddie, for example, or Jesus. He could yeah. feed. Yeah, he, I was just going to say that, Lee. Mm. He could feed Jesus. Yeah, right. He's the sort of player that could nip. Then who do you drop? You have to drop Odegaard. You have to yeah, drop. Well, why not? Certain you know, games you can do it, but let's be real. Martin Odegaard's possession of the ball. His, um, you know, his passing accuracy, his assists, his shooting, his goals. Yeah, everything about Odegaard's game is levels clear right now of Kai Havertz. Yeah. So it's a tough one, which is why I'm baffled we spent 65 million on him, mate. <laughs> but hopefully he comes good, Jez. Hopefully he comes good. Yeah. Well, hopefully I we see the best of Kai Havertz because for three years at Chelsea, we've seen the worst of Kai Havertz. Yeah, and he's not as bad as he's been at Chelsea. We we, we know that from Leverkusen. I think he lacks confidence, Lee. I think mm. the problem when he, was at, when he was at Liverpool, uh, sorry, Chelsea, Liverpool, Chelsea, um, okay. I, I think I think he just was played in the wrong position mm. and he just lost he just lost his plot. And we I mean let's get it right. Let's get it right. We saw this happen with a Bamiang. Right. Yep. So, seen it with Genduzi as well. Yes. So, I'm I'm going to sit here and I'm going to say, um, give the guy a chance. And this is what wound me up um, earlier: is that look, give these people a chance. It's a new season, you know. Let, I mean, let's 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 put it rightly. When we had when when we signed Thierry Henry. He was shit. His, his, his first, he, you know, his first, first season. Games, he was crap, wasn't he? Crap. I, th I honestly said, who the hell is this guy? <laughs> and then all of a sudden, bang. Bang, wow. goal, goal. 
Was it right. Watford? Was it Watford he scored his first goal? Yeah, Watford, yeah. Watford, yeah, pinged it. Yeah, yeah. and then I, I hugged the hugged the uh the corner flag, and after that, the rest is history. Uh let's go to the subs. Um Kieran Tierney um is getting blamed for the for the goal they scored. Nah. Uh, yes, he was at fault as part of a trio, in my opinion. Um Gabriel Magalish and the goalkeeper have got to look at themselves. Thomas Party included as well, by the way, because he gave the ball away originally. Um, but that don't take anything away from Kieran Tierney being an absolute liability when he came on. But what do you rate him? Kieran Tierney, I'll give him a five. I'll tell you for why. Um, it wasn't his fault. Partey made an error. And Tierney. before anyone cries in the comments that he's given a five and other players a four, yeah, just leave your comments. Just leave your ratings. Don't cry. Well, Partey cocked up. Tierney slipped. Um, I'm not going to blame, blame a player for that. Uh, at the end of the day, it happens. You know, that's football, man. Um, we, we've seen it in the heart, past history. I'll, I'll, I'll give him a five, man. Yeah. And he's had three players take his position when he's the best out of all of them. Yeah. Uh, but, but anyway, before everyone cries, <laughs> uh, let's go to Eddie and Ketia. Oh, dear. I, felt, I actually felt a little bit sorry. I can't lie, right? Before you give your rating, I actually felt a little bit sorry for him. Yeah, not because I rate him, because I don't. But we were going into stoppage time. I think it was eight minutes of stoppage time. And I can't remember who played the ball forward. He took a great first touch. And I was like, wow, sick yeah. touch. But he was the only player in the picture of Arsenal. It was like seven. It was a sea of blue. Yeah. And it was like, is anyone going to help this guy? Where's the charge of the Alamo? Where's the, the red arrows? Yeah, but... Ultimately, he didn't really impact the game. Yeah, but anyway, your well, your opinions. I, I, look, 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 I have a, th a thing with Eddie Nketiah. Is he has a player in him? I th I totally think Lee's lost all of his confidence. Yep. I think he. Um, just doesn't have it at the moment. Uh, I I tell you what he reminds me of, Lee. I tell you who he reminds me of, Robin Van Persie. Yeah. Because Robin Van Persie was injured, injured, injured. Came back in, injured, injured. Came back in. Eddie Nketia, I have no doubt, is a quality striker. But at the moment. I think his mental level of intensity to score goals is that low that he's just not there. And I feel sorry for him, to be honest. I do. I feel sorry for him. It must be, as a professional footballer, Lee, hard. But You're, you're trying week in, week out, and then Kai Havertz plays in front of you. Exactly. Yeah, you're seeing James who's exactly. playing in front of you. You're seeing Trossard play in front of you. Yeah, it must be hard. Yeah, oh. the, the one thing I will say, yeah, he's on a different level to Van Persie, but I get the comparison 100%, yeah? But Van Persie had Bentner <laughs> and Shamak, yeah, yeah. yeah. and it was yeah. like when, when Van Persie got his confidence and his fitness up, we all knew there was a player there. Yes. When yeah. Eddie gets his confidence and his, well, his fitness, he's, he's bulked up, is he better than Kai Havertz, striking-wise? Yes, I think he is. Is he better than Jesus? Debatable, probably not. Is he better than Trossard? Definitely not. Is he better than Martinelli? Probably not. Definitely mm. not, in fact. And the thing is, we have competition now. I get, I 100% get your take on that, yeah? Like the comparison with Van Persie, and people are fucking mug you off in the comments for that, yeah? And they shouldn't, yeah? Because you're right. Van Persie was injured, 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 yeah? Confidence low, not really doing it. Played with Henri, then he's with Bentner and Shamak, and he's like injured, injured. Eddie and Ketty are asked to grab the ball by the horns this season and say, I am the fucking man. He's 24 years old, Jez. He has yeah, to do yeah. it this season. Yeah, make a claim on that team and say, yo, I'm undroppable. Van Persie did that. He did. Yeah. Can Eddie do it? We remain to well, see it. 
my rating is, mate. I'm rate my rating is full. Let's go. Um, we've done T and E, we've done Eddie. Let's go Smith Row. Oh, Smith Row. Um, wasn't impressed, mate. I'm a, I'll be, I won't lie, I wasn't impressed for. He's fallen out of uh, form big time, yeah, and he's way down the pecking order. I agree, mate. Yeah, and he's a player that was for me more technically gifted than any of our players. But yeah. last twelve months, falling off a wagon. I agree. Uh, let's go to um, Fabio Vieira. Scored an amazing penalty to win us the game. <laughs> oh yeah, he did. Fair play to the fella. He didn't look cold. Why does this guy always look shook? Like he always looks nervous. I think I think with him is he, he plays with intensity in the wrong way. Um, I think his mindset is not there. But fair play to the fella. Great, great penalty. Uh, when he stepped up with that ball, I thought, oh god, here we go. Yeah. And I thought, oh no. And fair play to the man. Uh, I'll give him a five for scoring that penalty. Sick penalty. Uh, let's go Leandro Trossard. Um, since he's signed, he's been our best player. Yeah, his output's been insane. Yeah, He came yeah. on. Uh, fair play to Arteta because he cocked up with a timber teeny sub. But when you look at it and you want to mug him off for that sub, cool. Well, he brought Trossard on, which ultimately got us back in the game in the 111th minute or whatever, on what 101st minute or whatever. And we go to penalties. He scores a penalty. Mm. We win the game. So you have to create um, respect the manager for for that as well as dissing him for the the first one. He's been sick. I can't lie. He should have started for me, Jez. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. that guy is a problem, and he is probably our most gifted footballer. But what did you rate him? Um, I'm going to have to give him an absolute eight. Class. Glass. Mm. Even though he looks like Dracula, he's <laughs> him. Him and Havertz like they sleep in a coffin together. I swear. <laughs> to what is wrong with their eye bags, bruv? Like, I stay up late at night. I drink a lot of beer and smoke cigarettes. Yeah, I don't wake up with black eyes like that. No, yeah, they, 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 Same as yeah. you, you know. You know when a baby's born and they have um, what's it called? Uh, where they have to put the light on the baby. What's it called? Oh, um, can, uh, uh, what's it called, man? Yellow, uh, yellow, uh, jaundice, jaundice. Yeah, you know when they have jaundice and their eyes. Are yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I swear, both of them have got jaundice. Yeah, just like put some light on them, put some natural light on them. Um, listen, before we wrap this up, it's been a pleasure, man. It's been a while as well, and I've enjoyed it. Yeah, Love thank it. you so much for giving up your time as well as always, man. Oh, no, uh, you know, make sure you do check out Jez's channel. Very, very close to 4K. Arsenal history and more. Link in description. Uh, we're back tomorrow, 5 p.m. UK time with Kenny um, for the podcast. Kenny was at the game. Go and check out his, his fan cam, Matty's and mine. Um, obviously, Jez's as well. Uh, but we're going to do a 3 2 1 countdown on the manager. Uh, three, three, two, one, six, five. Okay. I gave him a five because he cocked up by letting it go so long to make a sub he then takes our best player off we can see straight away but he did rectify it and trossard ultimately got us back in the game Vieira, one of the subs then scores a penalty so it weren't pretty it weren't a great game but i don't care jez we sat there and watched arsenal beat man united in 2005 in an FA Cup final, Vieira's last game, scoring the winning penalty. They absolutely annihilated us. Man City didn't annihilate us today. It was a much of a muchness. You could see it was two teams that were nowhere near the levels that they reached last season. And it could have gone either way. Ultimately, we dug in. We were grit, determination. Yeah, at times it was very frustrating. And... At the big time of the game, Trossard stepped up. And then after that, it was who's going to score the pens. And that's a lottery. Yeah, we didn't expect De Bruyne to shank the bar. But 
who cares? I'm taking it. The same as I'm taking 2005 against United when they played us off the park and should have done us 10-0. We won that FA Cup. We've won the Community Shield. Yes, it's not the most... Who cares? We've got one up on Man City. Now go and win the title. Now stick a marker down. Well, the reason Lee, I gave him a six is the end of the day, yeah, it wasn't great performance. It wasn't a great performance from either team. Um, it's 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 a pre-season friendly, if you want to call it that. But the fact is, we've put a statement down that we beat Man City, right? And that, we, we, we move on with that. And the fact is, Lee, we won the Community Shield. Yeah. Uh, I know it's not the greatest trophy in the world, and I respect that, but it's still silverware. And fair it's play. A marker, man. It's a marker. We've beat the, cha- the treble winners. Yeah, exactly. We've put one over Pep Guardiola, and he's gonna he's not gonna like that. He's not he's mm. gonna he's gonna be smarting tonight, thinking, sod you lot. Um, and that is gonna bring it on, dare I say, um, in the Premier League. When we meet up home and away with Man City, and that's all I ask. Yep. Challenge. We challenge, guys. We challenge. And for a lot of people that um, are saying, Lee, you, me, Kenny, uh, are negative. No, we're not. We accept. We accept winning mentality. And today. We got winning mentality. All right, it was a penalty shootout, but doesn't matter. Like, never say die. Matter. We never gave up, and we got the goal at the end. And then guess what? Yeah, took all the wind out of their sails, and we beat them on pens. There, yeah, Kevin De Bruyne runs rings around us, shanked a penalty off the bar, and looked like he was about to cry. Yeah, that's all we ask. Yeah, Wait, it's a penalty really? shield. It doesn't mean a great deal. It's not about the shield. It's not about that. Yeah, it's about the curtain raiser. And we have just beaten the treble winners. Now, you have to build on that. Now, you have to go and go, right, next time we play you, we've got the monkey off the back. Yeah? We're now going to beat you in the league. Yeah? And the thing is, a lot of people get us rubbed up the wrong way. Listen, the game's 38 uh, 38 games over a season. We don't have to beat City home and away. Just win the other 36. Mm. Yeah? We've seen Arsene Wenger compete against the best manager I've ever seen in my life, Fergie. Yeah. yeah, 13 Premier Leagues. He found the way. So, yes, Man City are great. They're fantastic. They're unbelievably talented. They're so good. They've got the best manager. Well, when Wenger was manager, Fergie was, and they had the best team. But Fergie got done by Wenger three times for three titles, FA Cups, etc. And the treble season, if Burkamp puts the penalty away, they ain't winning a treble. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. If Martin Keown or Tony Adams, or anyone, or, or uh, Vieira don't give the ball away, Giggsy ain't wheeling his shirt around his head. Yeah, fine margins. Yeah, and I'm happy that we've won. Yeah, and it's a marker, but now we have to build on that. And listen, the fact that Mikel Arteta has doubted himself and wanted to quit and then thought, should I, shouldn't I? No, actually, I can do it. Big up to him. Big pressure on him. And I fully expect him... Yeah, to be ruthless this season because last season he weren't ruthless. He kept playing certain players in Chenko, yeah, holding, yeah, certain other players at certain times. This season, I fully expect him to level up. And if he doesn't, ultimately, you live by the sword, you die by the sword, mate. Yeah, and that's it. That's elite level football. This Arsenal Football Club, when it's some Mickey Mouse football club, we're a and top club. Disney, let's get it right. <clears throat> Arsenal are the third highest team of winning the Community Shield. Yep. So, you know, let's take that in. Let's take that on board. You know. Um, yeah. yeah. Facts. Come on. Listen, we, we've got a massive pedigree in so many things here, but now we have to do it. And listen, on that bombshell, we are going to wrap this up. Uh, we were going to do fifteen minutes. We've done thirty-five. I love you, Jez. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> uh, we've been- no, it's cool, man. We'll be back again tomorrow uh, for the podcast with Je- uh, Jez and Kenny. Make sure you tune into that at 5 p.m. Make sure you sub to Jez's channel, Arsenal History and More, link in description. Make sure you sub to me, 
Lee reacts as well. Link in description. And uh, yeah, man, Community Shield winners 2023. F Man City. The Blue Shark is now a stickleback. Yeah. Adios, amigos. Ciao. Cheers.